Hey babes, I've got something that's a little bit exciting today and I really wanted to share it with you because I have seen a lot about it online and I've read a lot about it and you know if it's as good as I have heard then I feel like that's something that everybody needs to know about right? Okay so I've got a lot of hair. I'm sure you can see I have a lot of hair and it's humid so it's super fuzzy today. It's long 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 and it's really thick so doing things with my hair are pretty much limited to chucking it up in a messy bun or putting it in a ponytail or leaving it down what I'd love to be able to do is have sleek straight hair but you know how much time it takes to straighten my hair using a strainer using a straightening iron it takes like 45 minutes to an hour, which is ridiculous. Like, I'm sitting here with my fan now because it's so hot and humid. And can you imagine having to, I think it's like 25 degrees at the moment, plus adding the heat of 45 minutes of straightening your hair? I don't think so. There's no way I'm going to straighten my hair for 45 minutes when it's this hot and humid. Thank goodness for this fan, by the way. I'm loving it. It's the best thing I've ever had. Until, of course, I got this. So, the team at Farmers were kind enough to let me try out the new Daphne hair straightener. Which looks like this. Just looks like a hairbrush. Except it's got a cord. So you plug it in. Turn it on. And I have been told that I'm going to be able to straighten my long, thick hair in under 10 minutes. That is pretty exciting. I really like the idea of being able to straighten my hair that quickly because A, it means that I might actually do it sometimes and B, I'm not spending a long time sitting under heat and it means that I'm not exposing my hair to heat for that long period of time as well. So I've turned it on, it's got a flashing red light I'm going to wait until the light turns green. It's pretty interesting looking, so just while that's having a having a warm up. Oh, that was so quick. Okay, so we won't have a talk about what it looks like because it looks like a hairbrush. And if you have a look a bit closer, that's what the bristles look like. Stop focusing on my face. There we go. That's pretty cool. So from what I can gather, the heat comes through the purple bits. And if I touch it gently, gently, I can feel the heat coming off it. So the idea is, I've already brushed my hair, just brushed it with my normal hair brush, um, just to make sure I don't have any knots in it, because obviously that will make things not so awesome. The same as with um, when you're ironing your hair, you don't want to put heat through knots, otherwise it will uh, stay in there. So start with the front. So you can see it's sort of straighty wavy-ish, I guess. And we're just gonna go real slow. Move the rest of the hair out of the way. I'm actually gonna start it again. Super slow. So that it has time to do stuff to my hair. So I'm making sure that the hair is against the bits that are actually heated. Spending a little bit more time on the ends because they're a little bit drier. I need a bit more attention, even though I brush it, it's a little bit knotty. And wow. Okay, so that's one pass through my hair. Let me just put that down and show you. And that has made a big difference. Look at how smooth and silky that is. I can't even get one. I have so much hair that I can't actually get all in the, all in the frame. That's really impressive and that was super quick. But to be honest, that's roughly... I feel like I would probably spend the same amount of time on one bit as I did with the normal straighteners. So what I'm going to do 
so I'm going to clip up my hair because it's so thick I find it easier to do the bottom first and then the top so I'm just going to clip that up that's a suave do isn't it all right If you can hear somebody using power tools in the background, that is because my neighbour is doing some renovations. And that's what it sounds like at my place all the boom time at the moment. So I'm making sure to pull that hair right through to the back of the brush. Oh, I want to be able to look. I want to see how it's going. So smooth. So I'm just going to quickly, that actually I can do more in one stroke than I can with a regular hair straightener. So I can do the bottom section of my hair in four passes rather than probably six to eight. Obviously because the brush is wider, oops that should be a bit slower. So I just want to show you a little bit of a comparison now that I've done one side but not the other. I might have to stand up for this actually. So this side, smooth. This side, fluffy. I think that makes a big difference. And then obviously it thins my hair out quite a lot. So if I want to do a second pass, then it's a lot easier. You need to make sure that your hair is totally dry. I can't quite get all of my hair in there, but close enough. Can't quite get all of my hair in there, but holy moly. This stuff is, a, this machine is freaking amazing. I need to remember to put it down. I do this with hair, other hair straighteners as well, the irons. I always forget to put it down before trying to separate my hair. That's how you get burnt, Megan. I'm just kind of finger combing it as it goes through. Because my hair has such tendency to get in knots so fast, even though I uh, brushed it out right before this. Getting it right up at the back there. Even though my hair's dry, because it's so humid, it's kind of. You know how when things are humid, everything feels a bit damp? My hair feels a bit damp. It's not cool. feels so much nicer and look look at how thick my hair isn't once it's straightened so I'm just gonna quickly finish up the top and of course this is a great time to get that clip stuck in my hair I'm just gonna quickly brush through that again at the top so that the ends don't have knots after being tied up Find the section first, Megan. <laughs> so let's see a thicker section. This is the first time I've used this, by the way. I just really wanted to try it out for the first time on camera. 
to see if it really was a miracle worker. Turns out that it is. Yes. So of course, the same as using a regular hair straightener. Um, my hair is hot afterwards, so I don't really want to touch it too much. Keeping my hair pulled down tight. I'm actually going to finger brush it out as I go because that helps out get out any knots that might be sitting in there. Oh man, that's so nice. So I'm just going to finish that off now so that you don't have to sit and wait because it's probably really boring to watch. And then I will show you what it looks like when we're done. <laughs> and I would not complain if someone was here fanning me but I know that it's only going to be very very short lived so I can deal with that pro tip is probably to do your makeup after your hair though because let's be honest sweating your makeup off is not ideal and it's bad enough that um, you know it's hot and humid in summer and that really does affect what your skin's doing so really hard to tell by yourself if you've got all the bits. It didn't quite work as well as I had hoped. Hang on. Is that it? Am I done? Oh no, one bit. One more bit. Always so hopeful. <laughs> oh man, that is so impressive. I don't really want to give this back now. I think I want to keep it. I'm going to have to buy my own. So I'm sure that, you know, because it's not like it's changed my hair, it's just a different kind of product. But I'm sure my hair's going to go a bit frizzy later anyway, because it's humid and that's what's going to happen but as you can see it's looking really sleek and nice for now and I'm going to take a full shot so you can see how long and straight my hair is because obviously it looks even longer or I guess it is longer because it's straighter um once it's straightened and I actually can't show all of it on camera without being a little bit further away so I'll insert that now I just thought I'd stand out and show you how straight my hair is and how long it is. <laughs> Makes a big difference. So my overall verdict, I better just turn that brush off. And it's off, that's so nice and easy. 
only a couple of bits of hair caught in there which is really good actually a lot better than my hairbrush normally um so i guess that's another one of the benefits of brushing your hair prior to starting your straightening um and i'm going to leave that to cool down before i put it away see put it over there so overall it was that probably took me just a little over 10 minutes um but to be fair i was having a wee chat in between um it was definitely a lot quicker than it normally is straightening my hair and you know the results are the same so pretty pleased with that i think that if you are somebody who regularly straightens their hair you'll find this super helpful because it just makes things so much quicker and if you've got even finer hair than i do then you know it's only going to take you maybe five minutes which that's pretty impressive um I'll see how long this lasts throughout the day but as I said I'm expecting it to last around the same amount of time as it normally would when I straighten my hair um, although who knows um, usually I can make it last a good day or two um, but I actually haven't straightened my hair in summer for a really long time so who knows what the humidity is going to do to it um, I'm not actually going to put any product in it I'm just going to leave it, leave it to do its thing and uh, we'll see how that goes. I definitely think this is something that I would purchase and actually this is something I'm going to purchase because it means that I can have nice sleek hair. Even if it's not straight all the time, I really enjoy my hair once it's straightened on the second day, like I just, I don't know, I feel like it sits nicer. It's easier to style, um, and it's just a sleeker look, I guess, than um, my natural hair, which is kind of just in between a curly and straight, which, uh, you know, I guess there are a lot of us who have straight hair, who would like curly hair, or have curly hair and would like straight hair. I just really like my hair to pick and go one way or the other. Um, but now I can pick for myself and use the Daphne. Now, if you're wanting to know about cost, this is... Oh, I better just check the box. Um, so this is the box. It's a bit sunny, so you won't be able to see too many details. But it is $299 from Farmers. I definitely agree with the stick on the front that says straightening has never been easier and faster. I have never ever straightened my hair that quickly before. Um, so I am going to pop this up. This is amazing. Oh, it operates a uh, top temperature of 185 degrees Celsius, which is 365 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and it remains constant during brush stroke. So, um, it helps you maintain straighter, healthier hair. That's pretty cool. Oh, this says I actually don't need to clip it. So I can just brush it as normal. That's handy. I'm going to try that for the next time I do it. I think it is just easier for me, though, to be. See, look at how much, look at how much smaller my hair is. I like that. I'm just going to spend the rest of the afternoon stroking my hair now. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys all have a great day. Let me know if you've tried the Daphne brush or what your preferred method of straightening is. Um, let me know what kind of hair you have. And uh, whether or not you have any success with using a straightener or not. I, to be honest, prior to this, my hair required like maybe three maybe four passes with a straightener and I had to do it in really small amounts which is why it takes so long um yeah generally really really impressed with this